Why did I revert to Islam? Well, it doesn't feel like I reverted to Islam. It feels like I just found the truth, you know? It's like, imagine if you were adopted, but you only find out when you are an adult. So you thought you knew the truth, but it turns out you didn't. The same happened when I started reading the Quran, you know? In my particular case, all my life, I've always believed in only one God. And the only Christian prayer that I know is our Father in Heaven. And if you have any doubts about who God is or who Jesus is, then listen to the words of that prayer. It goes like this. I only know it in my native language, Dutch, because I learned it since I was a child, but it goes like this, okay? Onze Vader die in de hemel zijt, uw naam wordt geheiligd, uw rijk komen, uw wil geschieden op aarde zoals in de hemel. Geef ons heden ons dagelijks brood en vergeef ons onze schuld, opdat wij ook anderen hun schuld vergeven. En leid ons niet in bekoring, maar verlos ons van het kwade. Amen. Our Father who is in heaven, holy is your name. Let your kingdom come. Let your will prevail on earth like in heaven. Forgive our sins and do not lead us into temptation, but free us from evil. And that reminds me of the first chapter in the Quran. In the name of God, most gracious, most merciful. Praise be to God, the Lord of the universe. Most gracious, most merciful. Master of the day of judgment. You alone we worship. You alone we ask for help. Guide us on the right path, the path of those whom you've blessed, not of those who have deserved wrath, nor of the strayers. And this is the core of Islam. That's it. Worship God alone. And do not idolize anyone, also not the Prophet Muhammad. Because the Quran says all messengers are equal. Make no distinction between them. The Quran is all you need. You find light, truth, and answers to the most important questions you could possibly have. Why we live, why we are here. It's all in the Quran. And I want to share something more about the Quran because it has been composed beyond human capabilities. We only found out about 30 years ago since the computer that the Quran is mathematically coded and it all goes around the number 19. The chapters, verses, everything comes down to 19 or a multiplication of that. Not even a computer could generate a text like this. You know, the Quran is all you need. And don't let anyone tell you, like, you need a teacher, you need an imam. No. It is the guidance for mankind. This was written to us, for us to read. And it, there are many verses that say, it has been made easy to understand. Are you willing to learn? Albert Einstein says, there's only one thing more dangerous than ignorance. That is arrogance. Don't let anyone stand between you and God. Not a prophet, an idol, not a teacher, no one. You and God. You and the Quran. It's not complicated. It's not a complicated religion. Submit to God. Once you read why we are here, you understand what we are supposed to do in life. There's one more thing that I want to share. That is... In chapter 2, verse 62, and in chapter 5, verse 69, it says, Those who believe, those who are Jewish, the Christians, the converts, anyone who believes in God, in the day of judgment, and leads a righteous life, will have their reward with the Lord. They have nothing to fear, nor will they grieve. Alhamdulillah. Read the Quran, okay?